Sugar, what are you doing? What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Warm, eh? Warm, warm, warm. Warm, warm, warm. What's up, guys? How are you doing? What a day. I had a went to bed late studying stuff again, like I always do. And, um, yes, can I help you? And, um, woke up a little bit late. Jan come, went shopping just to get a few things for the weekend. It's Friday already. And, uh, went there and come back. That's it. Did a few things in the garden. I bought a light the other day. I put that up in the shade garden so if it floods again, I can turn that light on and see what I have to do to get the water out because the water just came down so heavy the other day. It was probably the hardest rain I've ever seen. Crazy. But, um, luckily we don't get it like that all the time, so that's good. I have a little funny story for you. Many years ago I was in Nepal and I was in Kathmandu, about 40 minutes outside of Kathmandu. I think it's to the, I'm guessing to the east, going east out of the, uh, you pass the, pass the airport and go east. I got a taxi and it took me to, the taxi took me to a Tibetan Buddhist temple. And I went there and uh, you know, they had the prayer flags up flying all over and um, the monks and the nuns were um, in class. So it was very quiet. And then they came out for a little while to have a break. And then they said they're gonna go. So we were allowed to go in a big group I was with a few people, but there was a big group of people there, and we were allowed to go inside the main temple where they do all their chanting. And it was, to me, really fascinating. And then they came in to do the, back in to do some more chanting. And you know how Tibetans uh, chant, they have that throat singing, they call it. And they have the big horn and make a right or racket. But the, 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 um, Throat singing at that time I found really fascinating thinking where did this come from? Well, just today, right, just today by accident, I was watching some YouTube and Chan was there and uh, I found out that they do the same in Mongolia and also in uh, some Inuit Indians up by the Arctic Ocean and some others. So there's a group, there's an area like um, oval area if you tilt it to the left to the come up is like an area where they do that throat singing I guess what you call it so and there was one group uh, a couple a lady and a man who were very very good doing it and they were shamans and you know shaman people everybody thinks shamans are bad but shamanism is is um, about being next to nature and they're singing bird songs and all kinds of, so and the guy was doing like the throat singing very interesting and then another one come on and um i have to admit it was rough it's like clang 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 arr, clang 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 and jan was i was brushing my teeth we were going to go shopping and uh i was in there in the bathroom cracking my sides laughing so any minute the door is going to open and she's going to say hey put, turn that thing off and what happened 20 seconds later she popped her head in the door Turn that off, it's horrible. What is that? <laughs> I, was, I cracked up. I mean, I laughed for like 10 minutes. It was so funny. But I'm just fascinated with different cultures and stuff. I had a shirt on earlier, but it's super humid, so shirt's off. Okay, Kevin says on the picture, I found gold. Here's my story. So, uh,. I'm saying about 40 years ago, about 40 years, that's four zero years ago, I started having a problem of going to the bathroom. Number two, poop, right? I just started having a problem and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I tried fiber, I tried everything that you could think of, I tried it. And the only thing I could find was natural laxatives that work nice, so I found some uh, peppermint herb tea it was it said peppermint but it was actually about four or five different herbs that would make me go they wouldn't regulate it just make me go when I came here I found a herb it's like a 
you get a box and in the box is like a tiny little bag and in that bag there's like 40 tablets I just have to take two and I can go but again it doesn't regulate it just makes you go so I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong there's got to be like a yeast infection or something going on in my stomach and then I thought hey some days my stomach is big some days it's not so big so I thought it's got to be gas and it's got to be you know not going so it backs up so it makes you bloated so gas sometimes you know burping and making a noise and then swelling up and down I could not figure out what to do I've been to I don't think I've been to a doctor for it I can't remember I don't think so because I don't really trust them and a lot of times they don't really understand themselves but I thought I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try something it just came to me like a flash in a thought sort of thing to that if it's a bacteria or a parasitic infection and I thought it's got to be bacteria because sometimes you get that you know your tongue looks a bit manky looking you got something on it so I thought okay it's got to be bacteria a bact you know and it's hard to get a bacterial infection in your digestion tract under control very hard so um, I thought I know what I'm gonna try and it uh, actually I didn't say that it just came to me in a flash turmeric so I went and bought that bag of turmeric that gold is turmeric and uh, it cost me um, 250 baht for one kilo of turmeric from a Chinese herb store in the Chinese market on the island in Ayutthaya so I get I get most of my stuff from her because um, I just trust her you know she's uh for, if you go there and tell you you want something she, first thing she'll say is why but if it's like turmeric or something she, or ginger or, or garlic or anything like that she won't ask but any other herb she why and she, she won't sell it to you if she don't think you should have it she won't give it to you <laughs> she's a mess Pinoy her name is anyway uh her mom's like 85 or something but um, I've showed you in, I showed you their little shop they don't like being recorded but I showed you their little shop many times so what did I how do I take it well this is what I did I got a coffee mug a mug filled it to about 80% of it milks three quarters to 80% milk right just regular milk straight out the fridge that I used to make tea and I put one heaped teaspoon I mean heaped as high as you can get it is what I did but I if you if you try this if you have want to you can but I would suggest maybe like a level and then then build up to a heap but I thought I'm gonna get this bugger whatever it is and um, at first the gas started it got worse at both ends really bad but I kept doing it for two or three days and it stopped and a couple of days ago I looked at my tongue clean clean I'm like I haven't seen it like that for a long time so sometimes um, Jan will have it in yogurt because she can't bear the taste. But it, it when, you know, one heap teaspoon in the milk, to me, some days I don't taste it very much. Other days it's like, whew, that's strong. But just down the hatch. And um, the good news is since I've been doing it for about two weeks now, every single day I've been, and it's normal, Everything's normal, you know. You just you wake up in the morning, you have some breakfast. A couple of minutes later, I've got to go. It's not like taking um, the other herbs that I told you that won't regulate, but this is fantastic. So I'm guessing. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just guessing that you know your, your intestine works on a thing called peristalsis, which is like a waveform, you know. It's a waveform which moves things towards, you know, the rear end. So I'm just guessing that if you have the yeast paralyzes the parasite, whatever is causing the parastelsis, because you just don't feel like you have to go. But by taking this at night, I usually take it at night, sometimes two times a day, but I probably should take it in um, around, you know, just after breakfast or something. And that will really smack it. But um, listen closely, because this is kind of in code, right? 
the characteristics of turmeric you can look this up yourself one is antibacterial another is antifungal another one is antiparasitic so if you have fungal infection under your nail or something like that and the last one I wanted to say is antiviral so if you want to help build your immune system you can take it if everything's fine and you just want to build your immune system you can also do that so but the other one you can do this is another thing I I keep doing watch this I planted this a while ago I got I got a clipping from a restaurant and it grows like wildfire I've got a few of these piles like this around the garden put a little piece in and look what happened this is about one and a half meters by one and a half meters round and that is oregano oregano so you just take four or five leaves chop it up finely put some water on it let it sit down the hatch and guess what same as turmeric the same characteristics and this is free so if you can get a little plant of it and you can grow it you don't have to buy it you just take care of your plant nurture, nurture it like you would and um, make yourself some tea or get the turmeric and on that note guys I'm hot and I'm gonna go inside and drink my cup of tea so I just wanted to, and also I wanted to say thank you so much for all your comments on the Wednesday's video about the uh, offering for my dad um, your comments were outstanding so thank you so much very happy that you guys are here and I'm very happy I'm still doing YouTube I haven't stopped so uh, look after yourselves have a fantastic weekend buckets of blessings rivers of peace joy and kindness all the very best guys see you